So literally it's a criminal act. And every newspaper, every broadcaster has a patriotic duty to expose these scum and the uh, evil they, pro they project. The election primary served as a great diversion while the true future course of the nation was being set behind closed doors. You've got obviously the Bilderberger Group founded by the former Nazi uh, Prince Bernard of Holland. You've got the Trilateral Commission founded by David Rockefeller's Big New Brzezinski. They're the ones who ran the Carter administration. Everybody in the Carter administration from Carter and Mondale and Volcker and Brzezinski were all members of the Trilateral Commission. Founding member of rap sensation Public Enemy, Professor Griff, gave us his view of the Obama phenomenon. Barack Obama's been given a pass by the Blue Bloods. He's been given the okay by certain secret societies for them to let him in. I truly believe um, imperialism and fascism needs a facelift. Uh, and a facelift is going to have to be black. And the, the reason why I believe that is simply because um, I think they, they, they're trying to go into Africa. Well, they're already in Africa. But they want to totally control all the natural minerals uh, that they're going to need to carry themselves into the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd centuries. Mm -hmm. Are uh, you following me? So I think they, they, they have to go through a phase of galvanizing the masses of dark-skinned people that truly believe that change needs to come, but the change that they're talking about is not necessarily change for the better as far as the masses of the people. Mm -hmm. It's probably a better change for them. It's not going to change for us, right. the little man on a totem pole. And no one looks at the agenda. No, no as long as he that. positions himself right, have the right tie on, have the right smile, um, uh, repeats the slogans over and over and drives it and drives it home. The average, the average American is just going to swallow it hook, line, and sinker. And we don't even know what the agenda is. Writing in his 1964 book with no apologies, Senator Barry Goldwater said, The Trilateral Commission is intended to be the vehicle for multinational consolidation of the commercial and banking interest by seizing control of the political government of the United States. The Trilateral Commission represents a skillful, coordinated effort to seize control and consolidate the four centers of power, political, monetary, intellectual, and ecclesiastical. What the Trilateral Commission intends is to create a worldwide economic power superior to the political governments of the nation states involved. As managers and creators of the system, they will rule the future. Bilderberg issues executive decisions and prime directives to its subdirectorates for implementation. The Trilateral Commission takes the Bilderberg Group agenda and executes it through regional roundtable groups throughout Europe, Asia, and the Americas. The Council on Foreign Relations serves as the managing roundtable group in the United States sector. The Council on Foreign Relations has dominated every administration since the days of FDR. The way in which they make policy and rule is that they are a polycentric oligarchical system. You have to be a finance oligarch. Remember, this is not a society ruled by generals, not by priests, not by bureaucrats, not by demagogues, none of those, but by bankers. Bankers rule, and the bankers set up these institutions. They set up things modeled on the Royal Institute for International Affairs, Chatham House, and the Milner Roundtable of the period right after the uh, Boer War, so even before World War I. You had the British setting up these roundtables, institutes with publications and conferences, and this is how they make policy. Upon Obama's inauguration, members of the Bilderberg Group, Trilateral Commission, and CFR flooded into every position of power in the executive branch, replacing Trilateral Commission and CFR members who previously filled the positions during the Bush administration. When you look at the uh, U.S. ruling class, you'd have to say that they're a really pathetic bunch of failures and bunglers. They are a miserable excuse for a ruling class. And that's one of the big problems we have, is you go from Clinton to Bush to Obama, what stays the same is the ruling elite that gives these puppets the orders that they act on. And these orders are uh, wrong-headed, let's say, to say the least. They're basically bankrupt. They're going to lead to the collapse of this civilization. What they're doing is using the existence of the United States as a formerly powerful nation state to act out their Wall Street fantasies of world domination and maintaining 
their capital structures and maintaining their system of looting. And this can't be done. So the basic question is, they've hijacked our country and you've got to take it back from them. You've got to drive Wall Street out of the government and at that point you'd have a reasonable chance of getting back to prosperity and some kind of peace and order in international affairs. We had a chance to speak with economist and author George Humphrey. They have created a power elite. And we're not talking about your, the, the millionaire down the street. You can't even be a member of their club unless you're a multi-billionaire. And friends, this is not about rich versus poor. This is about a very, very small handful of, of the worst criminal element on this planet manipulating and destroying the good people of this nation and of this world. About this Obama with change. Look at the people he's put in to mastermind the economic recovery. Larry Summers. I love it. Every time they talk about Larry Summers, he's always brilliant. He's another brilliant one. He's the one that helped dismantle the Glass-Steagall Act the Banking Act that was put in place in the 1930s so the banks couldn't get become the banksters that they become. In the 1990s, you had the beginning of the derivatives bubble, thanks to people like Alan Greenspan, Reuben Summers, a lot of the people who are now back in the Obama administration. And the derivatives, I think, are the centerpiece of this entire problem today. These are the same people, Geithner, from the Treasury Department. Could you imagine that? The US, now we have the U.S. Treasury Secretary, who also is a Robert Rubin protege of the Larry Summers group, that dismantled Glass-Steagall and, and broke apart the regulations that would have prohibited the banks and brokerages from becoming these criminals. He was the former president of the New York Federal Reserve, and now he's our Treasury Secretary? And as we all know, the Federal Reserve is as federal as Federal Express. It's a private bank. And now we've put this guy in charge of it? I mean, can't be, wa Wall Street has hijacked Washington in broad daylight. Every single one of his appointments support the status quo. Every one of his appointments are there to screw the American people. Every single one of his appointments are people who are working to bring down the republic and the constitution of this country. Secretary of the Treasury, Timothy Geithner, Bilderberg Group and Trilateral Commission member. Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, is a Bilderberg and CFR member. She is also married to Trilateral Commission member, William Jefferson Clinton. Ambassador to the United Nations, Susan Rice, Trilateral Commission. National Security Advisor, General James L. Jones, Bilderberg, Trilateral Commission and CFR. Deputy National Security Advisor Thomas Donnellan, Trilateral Commission CFR. Special State Department Envoy Henry Kissinger, Bilderberg Group, Trilateral Commission and CFR. Chairman, Economic Recovery Committee, Paul Volcker, Bilderberg Group, Trilateral Commission, Council on Foreign Relations. The Director of National Intelligence, Admiral Dennis C. Blair, Bilderberg Group, Trilateral Commission, CFR. Secretary of Defense Robert Gates, Bilderberg Group, Trilateral Commission, CFR. Deputy Secretary of State James Steinberg, Bilderberg Group, Trilateral Commission, CFR. State Department Special Envoy Richard Haas, Bilderberg Group, Trilateral Commission, and President of the CFR. Obama Presidential Advisor Alan Greenspan, Bilderberg Group, Trilateral Commission, CFR. State Department Special Envoy Richard C. Holbrook, Bilderberg, Trilateral, CFR. And the list goes on and on. Even if Barack Obama were the most wonderful person in the world, he was groomed and brought to power by the global elite to carry out their agenda. Humanity must look past Obama and realize that presidents come and go, but the shadow government and their program of global enslavement continues. How could people be so stupid and gullible 
to believe a bunch of political people. So people who voted for Obama were trying to express, I think, first of all, something worthwhile. The hatred for Bush, Cheney, the neocons, the desire to punish the Republicans for their adventures, their police state, uh, and their economic depression. The second question was on the economy. People felt that uh, Bush was selling them down the river into a world depression. He is, of course, the new Herbert Hoover in that regard. So they were trying to get something different from that. The tragedy, of course, is, and this is really why Obama was groomed and prepared over a period of almost 30 years now, that Obama is there to frustrate and to deceive all of those hopes. Uh, Obama is a cruel hoax. He's a bogus sham. He's an absolute denial of everything that you'd expect. From an, from an American president. It is very disturbing to see well-meaning people falling for high-tech propaganda over and over again.